Reconnect. Let's see here. Don't leave it up. Turn that around. Let's see what these things do. Turn that around. Okay, there they are. I see the babies are here. Very nutritious. I told y'all full of potassium. Men. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Men. Come on down. Protect that prostate. I always say that. Protect that prostate from inflammation. Black seeds. Yeah. My brother who asked for black seeds, of course. We we we're, we're not we're not, you know, we don't do anything short. We don't do anything short. No pesticides, no herbicides, none of that. We are the ones who are offering the best product available. We don't offer that. We don't offer that. Okay, brother. We got a, a corn. <laughs> The beautiful tomatoes, beautiful tomatoes. I'm getting my box together. Uh, I got a $35 box, so I'm going to get mine before everybody starts coming in. And uh, mm. Tell me what you do, Frank. get this uh, great food. Get this great food. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See? Here. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> oh. See, I remember this day. It took me back to when I was a little boy. For real. For real. For real. For real. For real. Hold on. Mmm. That took me back. That took me back when I was a little boy. It's really wild on the tape. I see it's coming up straight off the farm from my man in Bowling Green. Straight off the farm. And see, the enzymes are kicking. The enzymes in here are smoking, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So, come on out. Before everything is gone. Now I know it's the holiday weekend. You probably got plenty of barbecue and all that stuff. But we're going into next week. That stuff will be gone. So what you need to do is come on down here and get your veggies for the week. Especially after eating. Let me turn this around real quick so I can look at y'all. Especially after eating what we eat for the for the holiday. Now you know I'm you know me, I don't be talking about what to eat and what not to eat i'm just saying you need a balance i will say that so we got all the fresh fruits and vegetables out here to help now you you ate bad this week so next week we need to get back into it get back on get back on track okay for real though for real this watermelon took me back when i, I was a little like boy it's good stuff i know a lot of people don't. It, but, look. but it's the best. I know. It's the best stuff out there available. Especially, you know, I mean, take advantage of it this time of year. You know, nature gives you. Why are you making that face? Nature gives you. I'm, I'm getting used to watermelon. Uh, oh, my God. Don't put him on camera. He don't even eat <laughs> He's eating some of that, though. Yeah. But nah, nature gives you huh? what you need. And men. Like a day or two. Hey, cuz, how you doing? And me and nature gives you the melon, gives you the melon, the aphrodisiac. All right, protect the prostate, potassium, vitamin C, plenty of water to flush. A lot of people don't know this, but urinary tract it flushes the urinary tract. You cannot go wrong, you can't go wrong with watermelon, can't go wrong with it. And my man Heath, he said, Frank. You're always talking about watermelon. Why don't you tell them to uh, to uh, to uh, uh, juice the rind? And I said, you know what, Heat? I, you know, I just want them to get a watermelon in. I just want them to get a watermelon in. But if you want to go that extra mile, juice the rind. Juice the rind. Very, very, very nutritious. Very, very, very nutritious. The rind is. So... We're going to be out here till 2 o'clock. Well, Aggie is going to be out here till 2 o'clock. I'm going to have to go to my store in a minute. But uh, I'm going to have somebody out here, though, for the Hef Daddy Wild product. I do have the uh, Hef Daddy Wild product available. Fresh teas, hibiscus tea, and I do have water. 
So I'm gonna have that so you can try that Hef Daddy Wild product. Matter of fact, let me go on down here and show you what I got going on down here. You know, we got the fresh cheese. I got some black seed oil down here today. And I also brought some uh, uh, black soap. All right. So we're still setting up. We're waiting for other vendors to come. So if you want to be a vendor, come on down. Come on down. We had our first wave. We had our first wave of people. And I'm sure the second wave will be coming pretty soon. Come on down. Uh, I don't think it's going to rain. It's a perfect day. We know you're a little bit party last night a little bit. You know, we understand the holidays. So that's why we're here till 2 o'clock. And I want to run something else by y'all. I want to I wanna run something else. Uh, let me run something else by you all if you want to comment. Do you think it'd be better for Saturday or Sunday for the farmer's market? So let me and Ag know. Let, let me know what you think. Do you think it'd be better Saturday or Sunday for this uh, wonderful event? We, uh, we need to know. We need to know. Uh, somebody said, somebody said the whole church will come if we have it on Sunday. So we looking into that. We looking into that. And maybe, Ag, we need to, like, open it about 10 and then take it to about 4. Oh, Sunday? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, wait for the good church folk to get out of church. Uh, we, we take cash out. Which is right there on the uh, Any cards, Ag? No, not. I, if you got a card, go I got a store. Home. You, you, yeah, I got a store, and if you absolutely positively need to do that, we can, we can make it happen for Ag. We can make it happen. We can make it happen for myself. I have a store, and uh, I take credit cards in my Health Daddy Wow, uh, LLC, 1806 Ralph Avenue. Frank, I'm making your box now. All right. Oh, yeah, make me up. I got to get my box early. I got to get my box early because I'm, I'm not missing out on any of these. Last time, let me tell you, last time, let me, hold on. Okay. Cash is good. Cash is good. But I we'll make that happen. We got Cash App out here. We it's got uh, it's ATM up the street if you want to do that. And PayPal. I'll make that PayPal happen too. Hold on. Last time I he's fixing me up. I'm getting some good green you beans. Get a $35 Hold on. Box. Yeah, get $35. But I'm getting me a $35 box. I want some uh, good old green beans. Then I'm going to get some of them tomatoes because last time I made a uh, I, I, I ground I ground on my tomato like tomato sauce and I uh, boiled me down a uh, spaghetti squash. So those of you who don't know what a spaghetti squash is, it's perfect replacement for pasta perfect replacement for, for pasta i'm giving some of them giant uh uh, uh green peppers because i'm going to put those in there too and with my pasta sauce a little italian seasoning the peaches look wonderful the peaches look wonderful it's that time of the year red tomatoes red cabbage oh, look at these peppers. the low acid peppers are huge now with look this comes from bowling green so it it that, Look how big those are. Look how beautiful these are. they are without pesticides or herbicides, without anything sprayed. So it's, 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 I don't, we don't know why they spray. We know why they spray, but I'm not even going to get into it on Facebook, but we know that why they be spraying stuff on your, on your, on your stuff, on your uh, produce, but we, we're going to get away from that. We're going to make sure we don't purchase for anybody like that. So we got corn here, the sweet corn. One of my personal favorites, Frank, what do you want squash. For, do you want cabbage or lettuce? Well, ba uh, uh, for your box. The uh, uh, romaine. No, it's a dip. I think it might be romaine. Too. Yeah, I take the lettuce. Cause I got a red cabbage at home. Cucumbers, fresh cucumbers. Pat ba Baker, we are at yeah, it's romaine. two four. Yeah, I take Three the lettuce. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, boy, I bet that melt in your mouth. 
Yeah, see, it's a difference. It's a difference from these fresh products than you getting at uh at these box stores. That stuff's coming in from California, Mexico, three, four days away, and they're not flying it in. They 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 trucking it in. They trucking it in. Beautiful onions. I'm almost done with my watermelon here. Pat, we at uh, 240 Amy Avenue. 240 Amy Avenue, just right off Market Street, down here. You say $10 when you buy this box, so it's $45 worth of produce for $35. You hear that? Saving $10. When I buy my $35 box, I'm saving $10, $45 worth of produce. Um, Pat, um, 240 Amy Avenue, French Plaza. 240 Amy Avenue, French Plaza down here at uh, Shawnee. Shawnee Market, uh, right off Market Street. It's the Indies down here. Everybody know where the Indies is down here off, off of 38th and Market. So we down here, look at the beautiful watermelon. Took me back, took me back to I was a small boy. I recognize you someplace. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, Jason. I, I've said where we're located. Check me out. Two forty Amy Avenue. Two forty Amy Avenue, just off of Market Street, over here at French Plaza. Uh, put it in your GPS. Two forty Amy Avenue. Right down here, Shawnee Market. We are starting something big down here. We're bringing fresh produce to the people without pesticides, without herbicides, without any kind of Asian orange type well, any kind of spray. Side, no sides, no side effects. No side effects, no side effects. So you ain't gotta worry about going to the hospital after you're eating these wonderful fruits side, and veggies. Suicide means death, like suicide, Pesticides. That's right. Herbicides. Pesticides, herbicides. Genocide. There's, that's right. Genocide. <laughs> There's no need for that stuff to be sprayed on your produce. There's absolutely no need for it. Now, the the, the bugs, they're going to get that feel. They're going to get their feel, but you have to plant enough where they can get their feel, and you get yours. You know what I'm saying? So, we good. Okay, brother, I'll put it on the post next time. Uh, but if you go to my... Uh, if you go to my uh, Facebook page, Health Daddy Wow, LLC on Facebook, I do post it sometimes. But I did miss it this time. I did miss it this time. I should have put it up. 240 Amy Avenue. Yes, there you are, Red Potatoes. I don't want to mess your name up. Tylen Reed. A uh, Red. Tylen Red. I don't want to mess your name up. There you go. Oh, look at my box. That's my box. Look at my box. I got some peaches in there. I got watermelon. I got uh, uh, green pepper. I got my lettuce. I got my cucumbers. And I got my corn. Man. Man, look at my box. $35 box. $45 worth of produce. I got my onions in there, too. Hold on. And I got some red potatoes in there. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 That's a lot of food. That's a lot of food for the price. Okay, cool. That's my box. That's my thirty-five dollar buy. And what I'm gonna do is uh I don't care a lot of cash down with me. I'm going to cash out. I'm going to cash out uh, egg. I might cash out egg. But bring cash down. That's easy to deal with, though. That's easy to deal with. I might dig in my pockets and get some uh, cash. Get some cash out out here. But if you absolutely positively need to do that, we got you. I don't mean to be smacking, but I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> watermelon. Oh man. Watermelon's the bomb. I'm telling you. 
And don't forget about my store, 1806 Ralph Avenue. Some of the best safe, uh, safest, is that a word? I just made that word. Safest pro, uh, uh, herbs and vitamins around. All right? I don't buy herbs with that's been sprayed. I don't buy fake herbs. I don't buy herbs that's been colored to make them look pretty. I buy from great companies that are doing great things. That's why we need to keep these farmers in business so they can start their own herbs. I mean, they got 5, 6, 10, 15, 20 acres of land. We need to keep that. If you can't feed yourself, you're in big trouble. If you can't feed yourself in, uh, you're in big trouble. Check out the barbers. The barbers, uh, they're, they're, they got one too. They got, they got it going on too. All right. I'm going to give me a box from them, too. So, and when I have any of this food left over, y'all, like, it's been sitting around a little bit, I'll make me a big old pot of soup. I'll make me a big old pot of soup. Or, if you want to give, give, give some away. Give some away. You know what I'm saying? But I got grandchildren. I'm still going to make sure she gets some of these peaches and my grandson. But, if it's too much for you, Give some away. Give some away. We got a $25, box, we got a $25 box, too. Which is 30. What is it? Uh, you say it's $31 worth of produce. Okay, got a $25 box. $31 worth of produce. Can't go wrong with it. Come and get some of these fresh melons. If you have a man in your life, ladies, if you have a man, if he's stubborn, he's hard headed, and he don't want to do right by his prostate, make him eat these melons. You got the honeydew melon, you got the cantaloupes, you got the mangoes. But right now, we got the beautiful watermelons. And you can juice that rind. You can juice that rind. It's, it's uh, even more nutrition. I don't want to get into... Look, folks, I, I don't really want to get into your health as your wealth. If you land on your back, you can't do anything. Um, I was a victim of that years and years ago. What up, brother-in-law? What up, Captain? All right. All right. I'm going to grab them, man. I, uh... <laughs> and these melons are fresh off the farm. Fresh off the farm. Not coming from Florida, uh, Georgia. You know, just yeah, coming right here in Kentucky. Came about 20 of them already. Yeah, 20 right here in Kentucky. But I don't want to get into your health as you well. And I know that spin I be doing. I don't want to get into. You need to take care of your body. You need to take care of yourself. You need to learn how to do it. This is one way. I'm not going to say fruits and vegetables are going to bring everything back. I'm just going to say I'm, I'm, I'm a this is a start. Ride, man. Today, oh, man. This is a start. My brother-in-law came all the way down here from uh, at the other end of town. To, uh, to, um, 240. You close. 240 Amy Avenue. 240 Amy close, Avenue. Man. Take some of them too. Okay. Like 240 Amy Avenue. Uh, uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna take the mail. If you got a bag. This is my. Uh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. All right. My brother-in-law. 40, I, 50, 50 years. Damn near 50 years. I've known this man. Good brother. Juice the rind. That's right. Juice the rind. Even more nutrition. Juice the rind. The rind. Good, honey. See, let me say it. I know I'm chewing. <laughs> I know I'm chewing everything. I, I apologize for that. But I'm just saying, I don't have any prostate problems. I don't have any prostate problems. Nobody's going to be probing me. Nobody's going to be sticking their finger in my booty. I'm just saying, trying to find out if my prostate is swollen and stuff. I do what I have to do to keep that from happening. You don't, 
And you got to think about it. We're, who are the people? Most of the people who have these prostate issues. Who are the people? I, Asians, Asians, I just don't hear of Asians having these issues. You know, I don't, I don't hear of Middle Easterners. I don't hear them having these issues. I, I could be wrong, but I just don't hear them having these issues because they know about things like bitter melon. Okay. They know things about uh, watermelon. They know things about the goat weed, the horny goat weed. Uh, they, they know uh, about uh, zinc, macaru, all these sexual, sexual cleansing herbs. All right, we need to clean that urinary tract out. And they say, well, I, I, you know, I, I'm just saying. Who be having these problems? Who be having these prostate problems, guys? We gotta, we gotta reverse it. We gotta reverse it. I know you like to eat. I like to eat, but we gotta find a happy medium. We really do. We can't keep having these issues. Having somebody probe us, sticking something up us to feel if the prostate's swollen and stuff. My prostate's not swollen. I'm 50. I'll be 56 years old in a couple of days. My prostate's not swollen. I don't have any problem. I urinate just fine. I'm just saying, I'm not getting on you. I'm not saying I'm better. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I found out what it takes to stop all that madness with the prostate. I'm harping on that because it's happening too much. It's happening too much when, you know, sometimes you can avoid it. A lot of times they say what causes that is barbecue and that barbecue grill and what's on it. And what them uh, coals are doing. So we need to read our products. That stuff says poisonous. Those coals. I'm doing a video on that. I did a video on that about five years ago. Sometimes I need to bring that back. I need to bring that back and tell you about the charcoals and the lighter fluid that you're using on your food. All right? I know it's good. It smells good. And I know tradition. But we shouldn't have a tradition of prostate issues. We shouldn't have a tradition of high blood pressure. We shouldn't have a tradition of heart issues. We have to reverse it. We have to reverse it. I was sent here to tell you all about it, to tell you I can't make you do anything. So I'm, 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 uh, uh, I'm here to tell you about it. I'm here to tell you about it, to get you all going. And... We're going to do something about it. We ain't just talking about it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Even though it takes, even though it takes uh, a lot to take care of yourself, well, I'll be done. I got more family coming. They ain't heard about these wild men. Y'all better come on down here. Y'all better come on down here and get these. They're going to be gone. Got my other brother-in-law down here. Yeah, my sister. What's up? It's our little family reunion going on down here. I'm going to have to get off here. I might come back a little later. Because I, you know, I got a little meet and greeting to do. But uh, got much love for y'all. It only comes with love. I only say this out of love. I say this out of love and respect for you. I have the utmost respect for you. And I want you to be well. I want you to take care of your family. I have grandkids. I got to be there for them. My father was dead when he was 35 years old. I don't want that. My mother passed away when she's like 45. So I don't want that. I don't want that for my grandkids. I love the way my grand, look, I love the way my grandchild, my grand girl, she, I love the way she says granddaddy. She says it in a way where it's confident. She loves calling my name. She knows. You know, she asked me, she knows what she asked me. I mean, she, she loves asking me for food. She loves asking me for water. I got to be there for her. This is the way, to, this is one of the ways to be here for. I have to take care of myself. I have to take that initiative to eat right, drink right, and do what I need to do. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not going to say I'm not going to do other stuff. But what I'm saying is I'm going to balance it. I'm going to keep it balanced where I can be here for her. And my two other grand uh, grandkids are coming up, and I got two more that are 12 and 13. I need I need a beer for them. 
We're leaving too soon. We're leaving our families too soon, men. We're leaving our families too soon. We have to be there for them. So, no more excuses, guys. But I'm through preaching. I'll holler at y'all later.